Uh oh. Uh oh. Houston, we have a problem. PlayStation 5 is dying. It's the end. It's the end of PlayStation 5 because Video Game Donkey says so. After sales of the PlayStation 5 failed to meet expectations over the holidays, Sony has said the console is entering the latter stage of its life cycle. Bluepoint's remake is virtually one-to-one -one from a gameplay perspective. Literally three games came out on it. But it's a remake. Like I said, it's a From Software game from 2009 from the PlayStation 3. Fundamentally, Demon's Souls for PS5 is what it always has been. Barring some small tweaks, the design of the game is identical to From Software's original. The core mechanics are unchanged. The enemies are placed in the same positions and behave in the same ways. I don't like the Demon's Souls remake. I think that it's inferior to the original in every way other than graphics. Brother. I think the atmosphere is worse. That's I think the your art opinion. direction is much diminished. I think many of the changes to the music and to the enemy design misunderstand their purpose in the original. The PS5 is trash. The design of the PS5 is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever it's seen. Not. Sometimes Spider-Man Miles Morales can feel too similar to what's come before. The core gameplay loop is pretty much the same. Spider-Man Miles Morales Kinda, is yeah, it wasn't like the same as the one in innovative, but it's beautiful. It was a beautiful game. game I liked isn't it. really all that new. It uses the same city map, just this time there's a coating of snow some holiday decorations, it adds a little seasonal flavor. The game does look better on PS5, but it isn't a drastic difference. Though Miles controls pretty much exactly like Peter did in 2018 Spider-Man, so despite being a new Spider-Man, Miles doesn't actually I was thinking, where does this sad music come from? Like a Ghibli kind of music mix in the background. And I thought it's like from my side. Because sometimes I listen to songs like this when I'm like doing something like art or reading a book. <laughs> I was thinking, is that from my side? But he literally put this sad music in the background of his video. Like a new Spider-Man. It's being called the biggest fucking waste of your hard-earned money to come along in years. I haven't played it yet. Sony's new stupid box thing. While it's being released for the PlayStation 5, Guerrilla Games says they did most of their development on the PlayStation 4's hardware. So if you haven't been able to snag a PS5 just yet, don't worry. Guerrilla Games says the PS4 version will not be a compromised way to enjoy your journey through the Forbidden West. This game is indeed still cross-generation, like many other big Sony releases this year. It's not that different, to be honest. Unlike the likes of, say, Horizon, the Forbidden West, the differences here are a little more on the subtle side. Sony has no new games and major franchises coming this year. We do not plan to release any yeah, major existing Yeah, it's not worth how much? $500? Year. It's a game so nice they built it thrice. There is something inherently inessential about it that it can't quite shake as a remake of an already fabulous remaster. Now there's an argument to be made that The Last of Us Part 1 is too similar to the PS3 and PS4 version to be considered a remake, and part of me agrees with that sentiment. The story is identical, the level design is exactly the same, and the gameplay, apart from some quality of life improvements, is unchanged. While the faithfulness to such a revered game is appreciated, the remastered version already fills that void, so it's hard not to wonder what Naughty Dog could have done if they had taken a more radical approach. 2023 was, of course, an unusually quiet year for PlayStation's first-party output, with Marvel's Spider-Man 2 being the only major release to fit that billing. Spider-Man 2 is not a game you should waste your money on. Not at all. Spider-Man 2's combat is very Who familiar. Is he it doesn't have that to? new suit smell anymore, but stand the original alongside the sequel in other ways, and it can look a bit like two Spider-Man games pointing at each other. There's Almost. quite a bit of Marvel Spider-Man 2 that can be summed up as more of the same. Oh boy, more old sh we now have The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. Side by side suggest that the two versions are, you kidding me, are man? a match in terms of basic image quality. The PlayStation Store description of the game this also highlights This game has been remastered more than any game in the world. Quality, which are pretty tough to I'm spot. so done with it. The presentation of shadows appears nearly identical between the two versions. Sony reveals the release and people date of still the are buying. I don't understand this. Go crazy. Are we talking PlayStation 6 already? How are we already said talking about PlayStation 6, you guys? Like, that's crazy. I don't feel we had hit any type of capacity for PlayStation 5. Give me more exclusive games. Give me something innovative. Give me something worthy. Because if this is all you gave me for PlayStation 5, I am completely disappointed. 100% disappointed.
PlayStation 6 should not be talked about for the next four years at least. Three to four, four years from now, I would say. Yeah, would be the time. <sighs> yeah, there was not even much different. And like, the thing is that a lot of these releases were already really, oh, were also at the same time released on PlayStation 4. And they didn't even, were not, they were not even that different. So it's a complete, if you think about it, it's a complete waste of money. So do you really think I would go to PlayStation 6? after you gave me this performance with PlayStation 5? No, I will definitely not. Yeah, you can only make gaming graphics so realistic until it's like, that is it. Like, also keep in mind, I, all, I am personally the kind of gamer, let's say gamer, that would always go more and like more a stylized type of graphics. Something unique and different than every other game the realistic style is too overrated in my opinion i think i would rather see something unique uh, something that not, hasn't been done before whether from our style to game style you know gameplay style story whatever like just give me something different something i cannot find anywhere else i can appreciate it this is shitty that we're talking about this it's called the PlayStation 5 because it can only have five games until they move on to the next console. This is, is they, they, de console, uh, they have to think about this now because games are taking longer to develop. We are not in the era where there is games made in six months to a year. We're in the era where you need four to six years to develop a game because they want the game to be online, servers, uh, uh lasting long you know they want to have uh, like they want to use it to have battle passes and stuff like <laughs> like we are not in the gaming era where every year you can pump good games so they expand like that the life lifespan of consoles need to be way longer for it to be worthy to have it with this type of games nowadays that are being produced GTA 6 needs 12 years. Yeah, exactly. This is what I'm talking about. 